Today we're going to talk about traveling through time with Google Maps. Uh, sometimes it's helpful to check out a location at different points in time. And I'm going to show you how. You're going to go to normal Google Maps. You're going to place your little guy on the map. And then you'll get to the street view. And in this example, we're actually going from backwards to forwards, just so I can have a dramatic reveal to show you. So this is a lot. A single, a single lot here in Portland. So if you want to click on this icon up here, it's set, I've got it set to 2007, but if you were to come on here, it would uh, show you the most earliest um, date. So the, all these dots represent each time that the Google car has come by um, this location and recorded uh, an image. So this first one is set in 2007. And this is 2009. 2011, 2014, there's also one here set for 2016, but nothing much changed there. And then this is the final 2018, the last time that the Google truck came by. So you can see the transformation of this, uh, these two lots. The other thing that can be helpful um, traveling through time is that there's different points. So if you can see like all these little X's here, is where you can see um, that these are points that you could jump to. But if you see it, so like this, I can, in this position for set in 2019, I can jump to here and I can jump to here and I have a position here. But if I move to 2017, my position moves slightly and I no longer have the ability to move as freely in this area as I could before. So depending on what you're looking for, that could be really helpful. So you might find it helpful for you to travel a particular route in Google Maps, but there are some things to take into account. One thing to be aware of is the height of the camera. The height of a, the camera on a Google car is 8.2 feet high. That's uh, typically higher than what you're gonna, than what, that's typically higher than most people would experience um, in a car or walking on foot. Here are a couple of examples where you can see the difference in height and the different perspective that you would have. So at eight feet high, this is um, a screenshot from Google Maps. And so this is the 8.2 feet perspective. And this is the same position, the same perspective, but as a at about a five foot height. And this is, would be the perspective inside of the car. And you can imagine that it's possible that the car would have um, more obstruction than what you see here. So, not the Google truck, the Google truck. And the other thing to make note of is that the Google truck's camera is a really wide angle. So you can see all of these things here. You can see this side of the road and some things far back in here that you cannot see as just a at a five foot height with a normal um, range of view, with a normal field of view. And so if you do use the Google Maps to kind of imitate what you might see, a good tip that you can do is zoom in a bit. So if you had a position, if you were positioned somewhere like this and you wanted to kind of see what it would look like more realistically, you can just zoom in like a couple of zooms like that levels of zoom, and then you have a more realistic view about what you would see from that position. So this is zoomed out. And then you would zoom in a little bit. So the last tip that I want to give you about using Google Maps is about screenshots. There's no good way to decide what the quality of screenshot that you would like but the size of screenshot that you take is correlated to the size of screen that you took it on. So to ensure that you get the best quality screenshot that you can do, you want to take that screenshot on the largest screen that you have available to you. Good. Better. Best. I hope I've been able to put a finer point on time traveling and making the most of Google Maps.